The gunman identified as 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon, who lived in the Camp Taylor area. Interim Police Chief Jackie Gwen Villaruel did confirm that he was a current employee, despite some reports that he was on his way to being fired by Old National Bank. Travis Breeze is here now with more on the shooter's background and where the investigation stands. Travis? Doug, at 3 o'clock this afternoon, we got the official death notice from the county coroner's office. Connor Sturgeon died from multiple gunshot wounds. LMPD officers were dispatched to Old National Bank at 838, and we just saw the body camera timeline saying that they entered the building and saw him down at 845. Police released more information about the signs he gave prior to the shooting and what may have indicated that he had the potential and the desire to kill five people. We have also learned that he purchased the weapon used in this tragic incident on yesterday on April the 4th. He purchased the weapon legally from one of the local dealerships here in Louisville. The headline Tuesday, 25-year-old Connor Sturgeon legally purchased an AR-15 at one of the gun stores here in Louisville six days before walking into Old National Bank and killing five co-workers. During a press conference Tuesday, police confirmed they did obtain evidence while searching his house but would not go into specifics. We have executed a search warrant um, on his residence and we have recovered items and we cannot get into specific details on what we recover at this time because, again, the investigation is ongoing. The district court office still does not have a public search warrant to share with WHAS. The scene at Sturgeon's house was calm Tuesday, with neighbors telling us no one had gone in or out since the sweep on Monday. New Albany Floyd County Schools confirming that Connor Sturgeon was a 2016 graduate of Floyd Central High School and that his father Todd was the basketball coach for a time. We know this shooter purchased an AR-15 rifle on April 4th. We know he left a note. We know he texted or called at least one person to let them know he was suicidal and contemplating harm. Mr. Sturgeon being an employee at the bank, there is some level of tie between the two parties, but we're still waiting for a clear motive to be given by law enforcement. Also waiting to see if the county coroner or the state medical examiner have any additional information to release in this case. Doug?